How's it going out there? Welcome from HG Tech Video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the new Apple TV. And uh, we just plugged it in and we're uh, going to get started. So just make sure you have your remote. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is select our language. Now, it's important to note on the remote here, you there's this section right at the top here. This is actually a touch. So as you swipe up and down, that's how you kind of maneuver uh, what you select. So just to show you this one, I'm going to swipe up and then um, use the play button as your sel actually no oh this also on the touchpad. If you press into it, it's just like a um, a laptop. So the little touchpad. So when you click, it will select just like that. So just make sure you know that. That'll swipe or so scroll, and we just click to make our selections. Okay. So, a um, couple options here. Let's see, set up your Apple TV, use your iOS device to automatically add your Apple ID and Wi-Fi. So this is really cool. If you have an iPhone or iPad, you can connect to your device and you can use that for to connect to your uh, Apple account. Uh, I currently, all my devices are out of the house, so I'm gonna have to do the manual setup. So let's go ahead and set up manually. So obviously, first thing we're gonna select our uh, Wi-Fi network and mine is called Larry H. Parker and password is this would be a really awesome place to be able to speak I wonder if I can speak it in let's try that yo llamo espanol okay no so that kind of sucks Although it does have the voice feature, you can't just click it and just type anywhere, which would have been really awesome. But anyway, we're not going to harp on that. The, having the trackpad at the top to scroll, though, is pretty nice, though. Let's see, two L's. Still takes a second, obviously, but it is what it is. We're not going to fault it for that but hey just to know that would make things a little bit easier uh, all right almost there this is just a joke from a uh, Larry H an old uh, commercial from a uh, TV all right and we'll give it some time here Let's take a few minutes all right, cool. So next is uh, Apple ID and password, and another section that would definitely take a little more time. So I'm going to go ahead and enter it in, and just to kind of save all of us. Time. All right, so I finally got my um, Apple ID and password entered, and now we're going to uh, select the option if we do want to turn on location services. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to not turn it on for now. Uh, I'm going to disable this feature, but obviously you can probably go back later and turn it back on. Uh, now we will set our time. Um, type in the name of your closest city. So we're just going to put Los Angeles. And it's very nice that it has the search options below. Or kind of like the, it starts compiling for you. So perfect. Uh, yeah, we want to use Siri, duh. Um, see the world with an aerial screensaver. This is looks really awesome. Um, love it. Automatically download. Diagnose. Nope. That's okay. Terms and conditions. We need to agree. One year warranty. Bam. And let's see if that. There we go. All right. We are officially set up, and we're here. So, love the refresh on the icons. Again, it, you know, it has that Apple TV-esque look to it, but it definitely looks like it's gotten a massive uh, facelift. And um, so we just got our search options at the top here and Netflix, love it. Well, this is it, guys. We're set up and we're ready to go. So I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech Videos and look out for many more videos on the Apple TV. All right, take care and have a good one.